right, this video is sponsored by Petey, Petra, and Naples. This is my dog pound right here. All right, you guys wait. So today, we're going to be talking about M240 barrels. Psych, I'm just playing. Um, but I really, I really want to talk to you guys about barrel nut wrenches and stuff like that. In case this is your first time watching this video, go ahead, subscribe if you want to see more stuff. I've learned a lot over the past 10 years of building AR-15s, M4s. M16 variants, AR10s, LR308, DPMS pattern, the list goes on. I haven't built them all, but I've built enough to speak on it. So I want to talk about some barrel nut wrenches. I actually let a friend uh, just borrow one of my uh, castle nut wrenches only. Now I'm just going to tell him he can keep that damn thing because of what I just bought, which is this right here from True Glow. And I paid $35 for it. Um, it is on par for their website. I think on their own website, it's about 38 bucks or something like that. And the reason for it is this. So I just got done recently Cerakoting this AR-15 handguard from Aero Precision. And it looks amazing. Uh, this is in tungsten, by the way. And here is the rest of it uh, assembled. For the most part, it's assembled. There's some, there's some stuff on it that's obviously not done. And the reason for it is because the barrel. Now this is a 6 inch 300 blackout barrel, so that's it. Not much to see here. Um, and it does have this device right here, as well as the silencer, will be tucked in underneath that handguard. But I have to get the barrel nut on first. Well, I had issue with that. This barrel nut from Aero Precision did not come with a wrench, a proprietary wrench of any sort. Nope. So I decided to be smarter, and I used one of my... Uh, Ryobi, Ryobi, call it what you want to, um, one of these type wrenches that you actually help take off the disc on that, you know, because, you know, it would look like it fits, right? But it doesn't. Nope. It doesn't even fit on just the two, let alone across like this. It doesn't fit this way at all. Now, of course, if I wanted to put one side in and, and then use it for torque or put one side out, and then try and torque it that way I could, but I wouldn't want to damage any part of the actual barrel nut. Um, so I said, you know what, if you're gonna do it, might as well do it right. But like I said, since these two holes didn't even line up this way, if it did that, I would have actually used it. Um, but it didn't. Nope. So once again, kind of pissed me off. I looked online, a lot of people were saying a lot of things. I finally just said, you know what, I'm going to go to my local gun store and find a barrel nut. So I was walking around with this barrel nut the whole time in Home Depot where I had to get a heater uh, for my son's room. And then I was walking around testing it with every single thing I could find. Nothing worked. I finally went to my local gun store with this in hand, met one of my buddies that's actually going to be in my police academy next month. And said, where are all your barrel nut wrenches? And he, he showed me this, told me not to buy the Chinese knockoff. Nope. Um, but True Glow. So I literally grabbed it, set it on top, moved it around a little bit, and voila, it fit. All right, so this is exactly what I need. And you would think, because you see this here, the Magpul wrench doesn't work either. Nope. And that's fine, right? The Magpul wrench... So what the whole point of this video, this quick video, this Magpul wrench or the Armorer's wrench, it's about $79 MSRP, like 80 bucks, maybe a little less. You can find it on some sales. Right now, Primary Arms is making a sale or having a sale for 12% off site-wide. They have that like every five minutes, it seems like, and that's awesome, by the way. Uh, but this barrel nut uh, adapter is for things like this. So this Delta Ring barrel nut is what this side goes to, so you kind of push it on there and... It gets in there, and it turns. And the other side, as you can see, is for a barrel nut like this, um, where it fits in all of these uh, nice groovy holes. Or not. Yep, there it is. All right, so that's how that one worked. So obviously, uh, you have things like this. This barrel nut right here, as you can see, it's kind of got this hex, right, this six-sided uh, part to it. And other, and other barrel nuts like it is because you can just go ahead and clamp on a big old crescent wrench on top of this and torque it down that way. Or, if they're proprietary, they will come with something like this with an, uh, an area to put your torque wrench. Now, this one right here for my Maxim Defense Brace, 
I can use the end of this. I can use this, but I cannot use this one. And the reason for it is this does not go over that buffer tube the same. And it actually just like throws me off sometimes how all these things work. So, yeah. All right. Well, either way, I had to take a phone call about my package that's on its way from Primary Arms. That was should have been here a week and a half ago. But either way, it got stuck in the Postal Service mm. holiday time frame. Everybody's crap is late. But I want to talk about the things I do like now that I have this out here. Is I do like this Magpul, uh, what is this called? The Armorer's Wrench. You know, it's got this breaching stuff. But I like this. This is what I like the most. It tells you right here what the torque settings or specs are for things like barrel nut torque, 30 to 80 pounds, castle nut, flash hider. So if you don't know, it will tell you at least on here. Um, this does work outstanding for taking off actually something like this. So it goes over the top clearly with the notches facing down. And if you look right here, it's shaped like that in the first place. So it, it, it is kind of cool because you kind of can't jack it up. But once you get down here, you can do whatever you want to. Um, I will say that also sucks. I'm trying to do all this one-handed. Um, just due to the very fact that um, the other ones, like I said, I can't use this on this Maxim Defense brace at all. Um, let me go ahead and show you another angle of it. If you can see it right here, it obviously has some sort of... Actually, maybe I can. Maybe I'm totally lying to you. Okay, I will be able to tighten this down. I lied to you. Do not believe what I just said about that. Nope. But this also will work. There are some times where um, I've had the this wrench did not work, and I had to use something completely different. And so... Yeah, that, that's that. But clearly, right now, as you can tell, it does have these holes. It can fit two of the most standard original AR-15 barrel nuts, which is something like this with the thousand holes around it, as well as the normal one with the delta ring that applies. Now, a lot of handguards like Troy, I think Troy Industries, um, they don't use proprietary barrel nuts. At least none of the ones I bought has. Every uh, Troy... Uh, handguard I've ever had has used this sort of delta ring nut without the delta ring in the spring but it has used that same barrel nut and they don't come with barrel nuts I'm a little pissed I'm not going to be lying to you about this while I do see that it needs to be indexed right it's a 90 degree type index if you don't know these four holes one of these four holes has to be at the 12 o'clock position in your upper receiver right here like this Let's go ahead and turn it around for you for the purpose of your gas block. So as you're looking at it like this, you pop that thing on like so. Did I put it on backwards? Yes, I did. Um, and eventually it will have to get indexed at the 12 o'clock where you can see straight down it like that. Um, now you probably can't see it too well right here. Nope. But that's where it will be. And then on the sides, conveniently marked at the 45s within that position, you have these holes right here. And these holes will be screwed in after it is indexed properly. And then, of course, it will be that way. So I'll show you the finished product once I'm done. I'm probably going to dry fit it on here. Uh, the package that's on its way will be with the gas block and gas tube for it. And I will do the rest of my stuff um, at some point. Hopefully you guys like that. If you have any questions about barrel nuts, let me know.
that was my first time trying that. I set my torque wrench to 30 pounds. Um, I had already put aero shell uh, or some sort of like grease on it last night or the day before. I already seasoned the threads. I did it hand tight. And just now I put it at 30, which is the minimum. And I just stopped it and it looks like it's almost perfectly indexed so I can slide a gas tube. As I stated, my gas tube is not here, but I do have a gas tube here. So I will actually go ahead and see if it will slide through there. All right, so there you have it. I don't know what I look like right now, but it doesn't matter. Nope. Um, either way, yeah. So if you can see, I kind of jacked that up. I ended up doing it too much, then I took it back. Yes, I know you're not supposed to loosen with a torque wrench, but I did. And then I set it to a little bit higher because I know at that point I would be at the minimum 30 pounds. And I got back to where it is. I'm going to let it sit. I wouldn't even shoot this gun for at least 24 hours. I'm going to let everything set. I wouldn't do anything while it's still settling in, if you will. Um, but yeah, so far that true, true, almost a true spec, that true glow wrench has already paid for itself. I didn't know what I was going to do. And like I said, I've built tons of uppers and rifles for people, um, like assembling them. I've built plenty for myself, but, uh, yeah, that right there was a challenge. I didn't know what to do. Finally went to the store with it in hand and decided to say, let me go ahead and dry fit this on something. And if it works, it's mine. So either way, hopefully you guys like it. That's my video for the day, and I'm out.